It's right now just playing the same wood sound, but uh, it would be configured to a bunch of different sounds. So this is just for testing. And it plays them at different pitches and volumes. So uh, it's kind of gone all around the room at this point. Uh, if you load into a different level, this one plays metal sounds. We're looking at uh, this sound file here. So I tell it that it's gonna play the hallway noises and I can also give it the directions and I can combine those to get very specific. If I want it always, uh, well, if I want it always behind the player, I can attach it to them. That will inherit the rotation. So it will always be behind no matter where the player looks. And uh, so I would just check that and then I would say, uh, back and then that would always play it behind them but I could do a little bit more I could do uh, back left back right and if I do back left and right that means it can play anywhere within the range behind them to the left center to the right it has a chance of kind of going anywhere within there so uh, that is how this system works by default it is configured to just be randomly anywhere a whole sphere and it's a little disorientating when you try to look at the sound and it follows the sound follows you so I don't really know if you need to attach it to the player but it's an option it's simple to do like these sounds might work better if they were attached to the player and I can do that as well I can just add two per level and have one attached to the player and one not and then run different playlists on them so one plays those type of sounds and then that way, they are always centered to the headphone. And then the rattles and creaks and stuff can be not attached to the flare, and you can look at where those are actually coming from. I think that might be a use case. All right, that's all. Goodbye.